Welcome to Unquirk Your Mind. This is Debbie G. Aquindo, and in this episode, I travel to Glory Farm Winery in Marlboro, New York, and sit down with Dan and Jackie Heavens. They purchased the winery in 2020, and you can hear what they have to say about owning a winery and what the future holds for them. Thank you. Enjoy the episode. Welcome to Uncork Your Mind, where we take the intimidation out of wine with your host, Debbie Giaquindo, the Hudson Valley wine goddess. Okay. So I'm here with Dan and Jackie from Glory Farm Winery. And what is, I don't even know your last name. Heavens. Oh, Heavens, that's right. Heavens, Heavens is the label. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you guys purchased Glory Farm in 2020, is that correct? Officially, January of 2020. Yeah. Yeah. So what made you decide to own a winery and purchase a winery? Go ahead, you tell it. Let me tell it. Okay. <laughs> um, what made it? So a lot of things made us want to do it, but... but um, we got first introduced here in, um, is it 2005, 2006? It was 2006. Jackie bought tickets to the Shawanagunk Wine Trail event, the Pasta Primo Vino. Primo Vino. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think that, that that's not something that's done anymore. But, but uh, so anyways, we went around mm -hmm. and we, we always like coming here. View is great. You see the, the orchard, the vineyard, mm -hmm. and it was just an authentic experience. Mm -hmm. Um, the tastings were still done in the barn. Mm -hmm. I remember Doug. Doug did the tastings. Yeah. Yep. Uh, right Doug didn't know us then, but we, we <laughs> remember Doug. 2006, right? 2006. Yeah. yeah about That's when yeah. I started working for the wine shop. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So there was like canvas mm -hmm. up around. They had the, the barrels and the. I think the they just joined ice. at that time. Yeah. It was. It was. Yeah. There, it was like. Very new. Very new. Yeah. And you could tell that it was. That, you know, the passion was for the the the, the vineyard mm -hmm. and growing the grapes and everything and and. Um, we just kept coming back. We, you know, we did the whole tour. We came around, but we always kept coming back here. And um, it was just always in. You have the barn. You have the farm. You can see everything right. happening here, and that always stuck out to us. We we love the wines. We love the view. Um, and Jackie sent me the the yeah. link as a joke. Well, <laughs> right. So I saw. You know, it was something we'd always talked about. Do you know? One day we wanted to do this, and then I saw that it was for sale spring of 2019 and I sent it to yeah. Dan I, like honestly half joking half joking <laughs> half serious because it, it was something we wanted to do and we thought that we could yeah. do it but it was just I mean we have three young kids like uh -huh. this wasn't necessarily the time that would have been uh -huh. the right time and Jackie had just torn her Achilles so she's in a, <laughs> she's in a I, 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 I don't think I mentioned that before <laughs> that's right you're yeah. right I was on crutches so she was on time. crutches and had a big boot couldn't, mm -hmm. couldn't move around so I call up and I, I schedule all the time to see. I think it was a Friday. Yeah. Or we saw it on a Thursday night. I called on a Friday. We came up on a Saturday or something. I don't know, but we had the kids with us. It was so like they we were spending a couple school. days. <laughs> yeah. And we came up and uh, Jackie couldn't go around, but, but we went around as much as we could. And I don't know. So it just kind of worked out and we sat here right over there. Mm -hmm. Kids were playing, tasted some wine, talked for, we were here for about three or four hours. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, everything seemed to just line up. Good. That yeah. it was meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was, it was one of those I believe that in all that like. kind of inertia type of stuff. Yeah. It, I mean, it was a long process. Yes. But, but um, we worked through some things. And did you have any? I mean, beside coming to wine events and coming here because you like the wine, did you know anything about winemaking or running a winery? Um, I have a degree in um, brewing, uh, okay. so beer brewing, so it's not mm -hmm. that you know, beer and wine aren't the same mm -hmm. thing, but fermentation, there's still mm -hmm. the science behind it, so familiar with that. Jackie mm -hmm. has experience. From the business perspective, I'm a CPA, Okay. and I had experience bar management, restaurant okay. management, so on that side of things, from a front of house and an organizational mm -hmm. type of background. And the business side. So that's that's what we say, but generally, I guess the short answer is no. We didn't. Have <laughs> we're learning a lot. Well, we you learn we, as you go. A lot. You learn as you go. <laughs> you know, if it didn't work we, this, you try something different. <laughs> so yeah. So when when you opened like during the pandemic, I mean, that must have been tough, struggling. Did, did 
you know, I mean, here's your first time, you know, and how did you make it work? That's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Well, I just want to say that I remember the first, one of the first things Dan had said when this was all just uh -huh. started, when it was all happening, was that, you know, we just, we're going to do whatever we can and just work as hard as we can and get through this year. And if we can get through this year, mm -hmm. we can do anything. And I feel like that just really and you're still together with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many bottles later. But yeah, <laughs> yeah we, 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 uh, it was almost good. I think it was a blessing that we didn't like operate before because uh -huh. we didn't know. We didn't know what we didn't know, so we didn't know what, like what to expect. Right. What's everything's thrown up in the air? The whole world is turned upside right. down, and we didn't really have. We're kind of just we were open for a few weekends here in February, March, and then like the whole right. world yeah. shut down. So we couldn't really. We didn't have any. It was good because That's we were like, yeah, we it was new anyway. Yeah, right. everything right. changed. So right. Yeah. So now it's 2022. Um, you've had a whole year which, you know, you had to improvise and figure out, you know, what worked with all the different restrictions that were put on you. 2022, what's this going to bring you? Hmm. How do we answer that? Do you want to answer that? Um, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, I, <laughs> I know what, what you're going to say, cause, but if you don't want me to make it public, I don't know when I'm going to have time to write the article. I can wait till you make it public. So okay. Well, yeah, so we're, we're going to yeah, say yeah. it's just a matter of who, who to wanted say. to say it. <laughs> 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 okay. Do you so I, oh, okay, sure. go ahead. So go ahead. You've been working hard at um, it. Yeah, so we are very excited because we are renaming the winery. <laughs> um, we're announcing it Thursday. Oh, this, this Thursday? Thursday? Yeah. yeah so Trust me, I want to have this ready by Thursday. <laughs> 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 but we, you know, I think we're, in these two years, we've built on a lot of things that were already there. We've added our own things, we've made some changes, and now we just feel like this is like the final, one of the final changes that really just puts our own stamp on it. Right. And, um, you know, really sort of articulates what our big values are and what our, our real goals are for here. So when you purchase the winery, you purchase the name as well, correct? correct. So now you're just, you're gonna rebrand, and what is the, so, so the plan is still to keep the, the glory name for certain wines. Okay. So it's really going to be a brand. I mean, Doug and Maryland, they did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. They worked really hard. They put their entire, you know, pretty much yes. their, their life into this. So um, so we want to keep that here. The legacy. And there's there's just certain wines that, like, it's attached to the name. Mm -hmm. So if you change it, it's going to, you know, people will be confused with that. But, you know, and so we'll just keep it, I guess, simple. It's not simple, but we'll try and keep it as simple as possible. <laughs> so, are you changing the name of the winery itself, like, or yes. is it so, like, going coming up, it'll say whatever the new name is, right? Yeah. Right. So, the farm, the farm, and the winery, both getting renamed, but we will have the glory line. The, of okay. Wines okay. That will that will still be the ones that people, you know, the ones that people remember, and they come up and they say it mm -hmm. like, oh, I always get that pumpkin wine at Glory. Right. That's going to still be right. a Glory right. wine. Yeah. So, so the new. The new line, the new name, going to concentrate on estate grapes, estate mm -hmm. fruit, uh, and it's it's going to be only and estate. And we'll come up with the name. The name? Do you want to? Yeah, sure. So, um, Court Rock Vineyard is is the name, and um, we have well, there are a few big boulders of it in the back mm -hmm. of the courts, but also just all throughout the property. Whenever we're doing work up there, you find the little pieces of quartz yeah. all throughout, and. Um, our children, since we've been coming here, have just, I mean, they think, they think we're on a, like a diamond mine, you know, <laughs> that they're fine, they're like, you know, did anyone know this? When they sold us this, did they know this was here? Like, it's just, it's a, like, it's a magical, wonderful Yeah, so, thing. There's, there's, so there's a big rock, if you walk out here, you'll see the big rock over by the Nishanek, and they call it the Quartz Rock. Uh -huh. So that's, that was what's stuck up, but we wanted something, if you ever have the, you know, um, any of the wines, there's a flintiness, there's mm -hmm. an earthiness, mm -hmm. there's the... Uh, so we wanted something representative of that, but something that tied, you know, it was just something that stuck out to us. And we mm -hmm. played with different names and this one just kind of stuck. So. so you're keeping some of Glory's lines, his legacy, pretty much. What new things are you bringing in that are coming from, you know, the two of you and, you know, to the winery? Okay. Well, all the, I mean, the ciders, focusing on hard ciders. Oh, okay. We did some in the last year, but we're doing a lot more coming up 
um, and everything is going to be estate fruit that you're yes. going to be selling. Yes, yes. Yep. yeah, exactly, it's exclusively estate. Yeah, so we're 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 going to concentrate on um, yeah the estateness of it. We're trying to make more uh, wine just mm -hmm. to grow. Uh, we got to pay the bills at some point. So, yeah. so, um, but it's always uh, I think a lot of a lot of uh, vineyards and wineries in the area are. It's kind of like a, a chicken or the egg. Like you want to grow, but you need to sell the wine to grow. Mm -hmm. But you need to grow in order to have more wine. So it's like which comes first? For, uh, you know, space is an issue. Equipment's an issue. Right. Rising prices right now are, are, are an issue. Mm -hmm. So it's always kind of like, mm -hmm. how do we get to that point? Um, you know, we need a bigger tasting room. We need a bigger production facility. We need more store. Like mm -hmm. we just need lots of stuff. So will you be planting more grapes? So we already have. And what um, have you planted? So we're gonna try some Nebbiolo. Interesting. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we know. Um, we we know that that's a bit. You know, that now that's have you did you have the soil <laughs> tested to we, see? We did. Okay. We did. Um, might go fine. Might not. We'll what? try it. Over yeah. the past 15 years, I think we've noticed this, the soil is one thing, but I think just in the climate in general, I think we've noticed a big change. Mm -hmm. um, if it continues the direction it's heading, it, you know, 15 years from now, we might be saying that was a great mm -hmm. idea to do that. We took a chance mm -hmm. and it worked out. We might be saying the opposite. I, I don't know. Right. But, but it, I think a big tenet for us too with the new brand is that we want to try things like that, and mm -hmm. especially you know, not on a giant scale. But there's something that we're like they say this can't grow anywhere except you know these parts right. of Italy. But you know what? Why not? Maybe it can. So we're we're we're, we're trying to, to do a little turtle? bit more of that. Have you gone to Turtle Vineyard? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they grow Nebbiolo. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. They grow yeah. a few different things. So yeah. and what's the? Uh, I really liked it at Natali Natali Vineyards. We had their yeah. Nebbiolo. I really, I have not been to Natali since it sold. Their Nebbiolo was really I haven't been out there. I should fall and I should probably go out there. Yeah, they have a lot of. What was the other one? The beach did. The, uh, the, they did have Aronia. a beach. Aronia. The yes, Aronia, yes, the Aronia, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so that's one that grape. Maybe a little, anything else? Uh, so that, that we put in the ground last year, we have more coming. Uh, Gamay, okay. Tempranillo, we're going to try Norton. Tempranillo, Norton, yeah, um, it's very purpley. Yeah, so we'll, <laughs> we'll give that a shot. Um, My husband would come home looking like the Fruit of the Loom grape. When he's, <laughs> he's, he used to, to be the wine maker and help at harvest at White Cliff. In fact, oh, he okay. did that this year too, because okay. they were short people, so they they sent him an SOS. So he spent about two weeks up here. <laughs> nice. That's, he, he, that's what he loves. That's that's his calling, but yeah. you can't do that in Jersey. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he'd come home and he's all purple. <laughs> so, so there's that. Um, yeah. And then maybe next year, well, I'm giving away too many secrets. So. <laughs> no, come on, come on. We've <laughs> been using the other fruit too. I think we did the, we made the quince wine last year. So what's quince wine? Um, so it was well, you can. So we got hit with the frost idea, but, mm -hmm. last year. So it was okay. it was COVID, and then it was the frost. Mm -hmm. and the frost took out all, all the peaches, took out all the pears, took out two thirds of the grapes, oh, and took geez. out pretty much every every uh, all the quince. Uh, took out the currants, um, but we had seven That's bushels of, of quince, and you could sell the fresh fruit. And we're like, well, you know, what, what do we do with it? And it was just kind of like. Let's try to make a wine out of it. Let's try to yeah. do something. So that, that's one of the themes that, that we have, and I'll get to that in a second. But we cut it up, blended it up, fermented it, and it's a, it's a very limited amount. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, I don't know, I, I think I, I, I didn't really take too much notice of it until mm -hmm. we were, we bottled it. And I forget what we were having. We were having some, I think I had some spicy Chinese food or something. That's we what just it was. Had, spicy we had Chinese some stuff food, yeah. out, some wine out. I was like, let me just try it. And it, it stood up to the spice. I was like, "Wow, what's wow. you know? Yeah. What is, you know?" So is there RS in it? Uh, there's uh, I forget how much. Five. Five. Five? I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay. So it's try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so so that that's one of the new things. Just the you know we're trying to experiment with different things. Some mm -hmm. of it's going to go well. Some of it's not going to go right. well. Right. Trial and we error. won't talk about stuff that didn't go well. So. <laughs> but that's trial and error, and that's, yeah. you know, you yeah. want to figure out your your niche because, yeah. you know, a winery is a winery, but every winery is different. It, yeah. Every winery has a their own personal personality, personal style, and that's what you build your clientele up on because yeah. they come because of whatever that feature, that niche is. Yeah. You know, one of the things when I started working for the wine trail was I sent a questionnaire to all the wineries. You know, what makes you different from every other winery? 
you know, because everybody is different. Right. You all might make grapes, and you all might make a cab, or wine, you might cab, this or that, but there's something different that makes you different. Yeah. So. so that's one of the things, it's kind of like, well, we want to keep everything controlled as much as possible, but we'll veer off every once in a while to, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe more often. More than often than that, yeah. 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 Uh, we tried fermenting mm -hmm. uh, strawberries, blackberries this year. We did some natural ferment. Yeah, so actually we've, we've done we've a lot. We've done a lot. That. Yeah. We've tried, right? like you said, some of the things don't work out. Right. Well, a lot of people saw us try that too. We tried a watermelon okay. wine. Terrible. Those didn't those work out. <laughs> Didn't work out. It, we, it was very busy at the time, so like we, you know, so many customers were yeah. like seeing us chop it up, and we we're like, we can't wait for it. And we're like, we can't either. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you know, that, that had to go. So that's that. that we it's learned some lessons. So if we right. do it again, we know what not to do now. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, failed experiment, but that's all right. It's gonna happen. Where do you, I know you're just starting out, but like in five years, where do you see the winery? That's a good question. That is a really good question. Do you want to answer that or should I? I've been so focused on this year. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I think in five years it would be nice to 